Why are we using dyes to learn about radioactivity? Imagine each of the 100 dyes is a radioactive nucleus. Shake the box and remove those that show 1. When you remove the dyes, which concept in radioactivity are you simulating? The removed dyes represents the decayed radioactive nuclei. Now repeat what you have done to reduce the remaining dyes by half. It took us about 4 times for the number of dyes to be reduced from 100 to 50. Oh, it also took 4 times for the number of dyes to be halved again. Yes, it takes about the same number of times to reduce the number of remaining dyes by half. This represents the half-life of a radioactive substance. We have used the laws of probability in mathematics to understand physics better. The outcome of a single dye is random, but we can predict the collective outcome of a large number of dyes. Similarly, each nucleus has a random chance of decay, but we can predict the amount of radioactivity of a large sample. How do you think the knowledge of radioactive decay is useful to us? Sterilizing food, carbon dating, radiotherapy for cancer treatment. Yes, for example, iodine-131, which is a radioactive type of iodine, is used in the treatment of thyroid cancers. Understanding half-life will be useful in determining the radioactive users in medical treatment.